Hello everyone, this is Destinot for the LootCave.com, and today we're gonna go over a pretty easy route in the Dark Zone to get Division Tech. So uh, we'll start off here. I'm gonna show you where I start. I start on the 34th Street entrance to the Dark Zone, right there on the map. And we're gonna plot a point up to the library. Uh, we're not gonna exactly follow it, but uh, we're just gonna use it as a reference. Because the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find a chest. And then we're going to find some dark zone material that isn't exactly on the map. Like I said, it's pretty easy. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so came into some guys right here. And this is going to happen every once in a while. But uh, I'm going to show you pretty much how to get through this without firing a shot. I say pretty much because, uh, well, I don't want to spoil anything. I'll see that later. But as a lower level guy, you can actually go through here. And you're going to run into some people, like those roving patrols, but you don't have to engage. So, you know, if you're, uh, if you're level 20, 15, you can still do this route. Um, obviously, I'd say if, if you're going to jump in at the 34th Street entrance, you're going to have to probably be higher level anyways, probably 20 plus. But uh, it's doable. And I wouldn't recommend jumping in in DZ1. Because I haven't found a lot of division tech down there. And usually that's where the trolls hang out. So this is our first stop where I find some division tech. And it's not on the map. It's not located on your overhead. So there's a chest there. Somebody's already looted it. So that's number one. Number two is over here. Kind of, kind of hard to see, but right there in front of the washing machines. And we have a third one right over here. So, I'll bring up the map right now, show you guys. Like I said, it's not not located on the map necessarily, but it's right there, just south of the library. So you can get three easy chests right there at Division Tech. So we're going to go behind the library now. We're going to set our next waypoint. And this is going to take us all the way across DZ3. Not much in DZ3. On 41st Street, there is some. And I'll show you where we'll deviate off the path. It's actually right by the entrance. Uh, right up there. So, here we go. I'm going to speed up the video a little bit. Every once in a while I'll do that. Um, I'll try to only do it on straightaways. I can't stand those tutorials where someone's basically going through a maze, speeding it up. Getting lost. So, right there we basically just went around the back side of the library. And this right here is going to be the longest stretch without really grabbing anything. You pretty much have to run a whole block. Block or two, actually. Again, we'll skip 40th Street, go up to 41st Street, and we're gonna hang a right. Past 40th Street. And we're gonna make a right. And basically, you're gonna go all the way to the entrance of the Dark Zone. And I'll show you where the chest is. Sorry, not a chest. Division Tech. Just over this barrier. Right there, Division Tech. And it looks like someone's already grabbed this one as well. So, no joy so far. Moving along. Again, we already set the waypoint. So, we're going to follow that up. Grab that Division Tech right there. I believe there's three or four. Four, maybe two. There's more than one. Let's, let's say that. Now, as I said, this is going to be the longest stretch that you're going to have to run. The rest of them are pretty close together. So right inside the door here, another case. Someone's already looted it. Good, great, that's what I wanted. And right around the corner here and over the desk, we're gonna find another box. Right there in the corner, there would be some more division tech.
And another group of roving enemies. Again, you don't have to engage these guys. Um, they'll stop every once in a while. Sometimes they move along at a good clip, so you're not waiting too long. Uh, if you're high enough level, or if you're with the group, I would say engage these guys. And just get them out of your hair. But we're solo, so let's set the next waypoint. Unfortunately, they're going the exact direction that we want to go. So, yeah, as a solo player, uh, like I said, I'm a 30. I got a few gold items. I should say high-end items. But um, I think these are the 31s right here, a group of four. So I don't exactly just want to engage them willy-nilly. So, take your time. Let them pass ahead. I'm going to speed up the video a little bit right here because it's basically just me waiting. And unfortunately, they turn again the exact direction I'm going. I got rogues of the south. Just might get pinched here, so... Basically, though, take your time. Like I said, if you're not in a rush, if you're low level, um, these parts of the dark zone could actually be pretty exciting as a lower level. Um, just kind of the anticipation of something about to happen. So, um, these guys don't move along, though. Like I said, the video is sped up, so I've been waiting here a while. Um, so we'll also turn this into a tutorial on how to set up an ambush. Um, basically, you want to open up with your most casualty-producing weapon. Um, I'm going to toss out an airburst here, followed by a BFB, and basically just set the world on fire. Um, drop this guy real quick. Drop this second guy real quick. And that leaves me with one more guy. And I'll just take him down. So, yeah. If you want to set up an ambush, um, don't just go at it with your pistol, you know. Um, you want to get rid of as many people as possible right at the beginning of a fight. And that way you can just pick off the stragglers. So, that's our uh, how to get through the dark zone with almost not firing a shot. And let's continue on with our mission, which is Dark Zone Tech. So up here on the corner, we're just to the right of the building that we marked on our map. There's going to be another chest chilling up here in the corner that uh, isn't marked. And it's been looted already, so... I think we're owing... I think we're over 7 so far. This is not a productive run. Still get to show you guys where the chests are at, though, so... That part works out. Right in here, another case. And this is the building that we marked on our overhead map. Case number two. And I'm going to go up a set of stairs. If you get a little disoriented watching the video, when I come back downstairs, I'm going to come down the exact same stairs that I'm just going up now, just to keep it simple. In fact, I think it's the only set of stairs in this building, so just keep that in mind. Here we go, chest number three, already looted right here in front of the computer, it's a little dark, but it's right there on the floor. And we got a fourth case in here, there's also a blue weapons chest right there. So, four Division Tech cases in this building. So here we go, back down, and we're going to head to the last part of the map. It has a marked location. There's a couple unmarked locations up here as well. I might have missed a few on the way up. I've done this route quite a few times. Um, so, yeah, if you've got anything to add, leave me a comment. And uh, maybe we'll do an updated video later on. But, yeah, there's, there, there's, there's a few cases here and there um, that I've found just doing various routes that are here. But uh, down this long hallway... Up on the right here, we also have a case. This one actually isn't looted, so if I was going for gear, could have just got a couple purples right there. Moving on. Again, that's not that's not marked on the map, so. Exiting the contaminated area. Yep, go the right way, buddy. Okay, so we're gonna go through this next building, and when we come out, this is where I'm gonna show you. There's another case. 
It's not marked on the map. And there's actually, well, actually, there's two. Actually, there's a little more. I found, I actually found one, you'll see at the end of the video, that uh, I had never seen before. It's in a bad spot, though. It's right next to the pit, if anyone's familiar with that. So here's another case right here. That's where there was some, be some division tech. Anyways, yeah, near the pit. There's a lot of guys up in that area, high level. I wouldn't recommend just running in there. So here's the last marked location that we have for Division Tech. Should be one case right in here, on the floor. It's hard to see, but it's right there in front of me. So I go the wrong way right here. I make a right. I'll uh, backtrack and kind of show you where we came out of the building, though. Get you guys back on track. So we exited right there. Pretty much want to go directly across the street. There's going to be another Division Tech box right here by the lights. Right on the ground. And right up here is the pit off to the right. So when you go around this corner, you want to make a hard left. That way you don't draw aggro. And we're actually headed to the safe house up here. Could have marked it on the map. But, uh, right there, another Division Tech case, and I'll show you guys what the safe house is, but theoretically you shouldn't have to use any ammo, I did because I got tired of waiting, normally I do this entire run without firing a shot, and then there's the exit right up here. Now you can go the route that it says, that's going to take you right in front of the pit, uh, like I said, high level enemies there, if you're with a group. You can go this way, and I will actually show you where there's one more Division Tech case. And, uh, I don't do so well, but, uh, hopefully you fare better. Um, I'm gonna run past a couple guys here, they see me. A lot of these guys are, uh, 32s, purples, gold bars, so they'll do some damage to you. I'm expect pretty low for health anyways, I'm, I'm at like 31,000 tech. I should say electronics. So there it is right there. You can see on the mini map the division tech. I go back for it and then it ends poorly for me. So that is like the only division tech I found in this entire video. Um, so yeah, if you guys like it, feel free to like and subscribe. Check us out over at thelootcave.com. This has been Destinot. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.